Did you know that this week is actually National Fire Prevention Week? Yeah, and departments all across the country are hard at work teaching people ways to prevent fires in their homes specifically. So Gibby joining us live right now with some tips that could really save lives. Good morning, Gib. Yeah, good morning, guys. You know, when was the last time you guys checked your smoke detectors? You know, according to the U.S. Uh, Fire Association, they say you're supposed to be testing them at least once a month and changing out the batteries at least once or twice a year. You know, and here at the Phoenix Fire Department, they tell us that their fire prevention team is the first line of defense when it comes to fighting fires. We caught up with one of their inspectors as he walked us through a daycare inspection, but reminding us the importance of always having a plan. The most important thing is to call 911. That's got to be definitely be in the evacuation plan. And also, where are they going to go? If there's a fire in this building, where are they going to meet? We want to make sure that wherever they meet, they don't cross major roads or cross paths that we might be arriving in. The last we want is to have a bunch of kids crossing the street as the fire truck's coming down. So that's part of what the plan we're going to look for. Make sure they have enough phone numbers to make sure they can call anybody they need to call. Yeah, so all week long, kids, adults, teachers, they're all going to be learning about fire safety. The big question is, do you have a plan in place? And have you talked to your family about an escape plan in case you were caught in a fire? These are all important things to talk to your family about. And Javi, I know you probably still have a little beep going on in your house wondering where it's coming from. <laughs> Change those batteries. Tis the season, huh? <laughs> we know that they save lives. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Gip. Gip.